this is my part 2 of the Gundam Wing Zero Custom Protocross version and <laughs> pretty much know that uh, th this part was so delayed the truth is I forgot about it <laughs> because the part 2 I'm, 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 I'm gonna just gonna ramble a little bit because it's, um, part 2 is actually supposed to be very small but because of that I actually forgot about the whole entire part so sorry for that. Now that I remembered after that I did actually yeah, I did another vid. That's how I remembered about this one. And uh, I might post this first then the vid I did before this guy. So yeah. You'll enjoy that one, I think. I don't know if you're an anime fan. Um okay. So this is him. Um as you can see he has that um what you call that? Uh, what? Um, let's just call it burst mode for now. I really forgot what you call this. And that's where his wings are spread out. I'm about to show you the, the gimmick. The part is about uh, a few gimmicks. This is one of them. Um, so I'm just gonna turn the table so you could see the wings properly. So, back side here. So, as you can see, the wings here they're separated at uh, the first mode they were not it's actually because of a, sing, uh, a hinge here it's connected to both of the f this part and this part so they move together um, like it's gonna move it here see same thing with the other side close open close open they have a hinge for that and then this part which is I had this bed open. Um, you can basically on the first one, you basically close it like that. It's close, and then you can open it up like that. And that's pretty much it for the wing gimmicks. For the other one, is yeah I failed to mention about the his two rifles. I'm only gonna do this once because it's really a pain in the ass for him to hold the rifle properly because you have to properly align some parts there. So yeah, it's a bit hard. Um, it took me a while to figure the perfect uh, angle for them to connect, which is you basically bent it a bit forward. As you can see there, the arm is a bit forward. Just gonna remove this too. Uh, yeah, and. The kit offers you a trigger finger. There's no trigger. <laughs> I bet if they did put a trigger here, it would help with the arms. Because it's basically just holding on one joint here. The trigger finger is totally useless. And yeah. For movement, um, he doesn't have, He has only, I think, two moving parts. The handle here can go up and down. And this part, which you basically, it's a peg here. You just disconnect and lower this like that. The same with the other one. And another part here, which I'm about to show you. It's actually the one that connects to the, the, the other gun. So you can do that uh, combined bust um, rifle mode that the Wing Zero is famous for. It's so basically, you do the same here. Just unpeg it. And again, this part, which I'm about to show you, basically pulls out. Depends on what side. Pull this out like that. And then you can see that there's a peg here. Same with the other side. On the opposite this time here. Like that. And now you can connect them. There are peg. There are the pegs are here. There's a hole here, and there's this will inter interlock with each other here. So I'm just gonna connect it. Okay. You have to, you have to align this a bit before connected like that. Okay, there it goes. And you close this up, which pegs together. And what you get is. A dual cluster rifle or just a uh, BM 
rifle. I forgot what you call this. And it, it can make him hold it like that. But it's a pain in the ass to do, so I'm sorry, but I won't do it. And it takes a lot of fiddling for to make him hold both rifle actually I only did it once then <laughs> I just totally gave up because it took too much time for for him to hold it and yeah this is pretty much him so yeah again I'm sorry about the part to be in a long time and I've just shown you a very little amount of <laughs> parts I, I didn't show you a lot <laughs> and I'm sorry for that well but this is the end of the review and I did confirm that the which I had yet to confirm on the first vid that the the transparent stand you can only get with the pearl gloss version. You get the normal black st uh, stand for the normal version. And yeah, he also has another here you. Of course, this is very common for masquerades. You get one kit, uh, one pilot that stands up, and you have another one inside the cockpit. Um, I didn't bother to take him off the tree because he's very small. And you don't get, um, it's basically just a guy. You don't have a, a lower stand there for him to, so you can make him stand on the ground. You can't really, it's just for show. Now, because I did pull this out, um, if you've seen my older vids, which was really crappy, um, I had the review, the high grade version of this kit, which I'm just gonna grab. It's quite far. And here he is. You see that? The high grade, um, it's basically it's the high grade uh, Wing Zero Custom. And I fully painted this kit, as you can see here. On my other, you could see more pictures of this, um, I, if you, on my Facebook account, just add me as friends and you can actually see more pictures of this. This is a fully painted kit, it's one of my first. Ah, uh, yeah, it's one of my first fully painted kits. They have no stickers at all. Everything here is paint you get. Watch there. And how I made the stand. It's very, very simple. Look, it's just a straw. This is, this is a drinking straw. Um, tape. And this is a, um, a stick, um, a tree part which is just cut off in the, in the trees. And yeah, that's pretty much him. I'm just gonna put him side by side. And I also have him in his. I'm just gonna call it for now burst mode because I forgot what to call it. So, here. So, this is my review of the Wing Zero Gun. Wing Zero Custom. Master Grade Wing Zero Custom. And this is the High Ride. And this is Brahra And I'm signing off.